Yo guys, it's Ash here. Welcome back to another Wolves video. It has been a couple of weeks since I have actually posted a video on this channel. I know, um... Um... I've just... I don't know. I don't know why I've not been posting. Um... I honestly don't know. Um, but... Anyway... We're back with a bang here. A 3-1 victory over Burton. I think... Um, the Reading game and the Spurton game, um, that we which we both won. Um, I think I think we expected we were expected to win those games. Uh, I think I think it was definitely expected to to uh, grab uh, six points from those games. Um, definitely expected. Um, obviously. Burton, a team fighting for their lives right now, fighting for survival in the championship. They're only like three points um, from safety, um, so like a win uh, and others slipping up around them would actually probably uh, let them out to the bottom three. But but today, again against uh, a team like us. <sighs> But they didn't. They didn't really show up. I guess they were. Uh, they were, they were a bit better than Reading. Reading hardly showed up for a team that did so well last season, and w for a team that f f uh, managed third in the championship last season. Um, they've just. They have just absolutely plummeted since then. Um, and. Uh, Burton, they did well to survive last season, but this season, this season, uh, this season, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Um, their goal um, was was a bit lucky, to be fair. Uh, it was a bit lucky. Um, uh, it went in uh, off a couple of Wolves players, um, so John really was a little bit unsighted um, to the goal going in. You could say he made a mistake. You could say it was just um, it was just a a, 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 a deflection and just put it past him. Um, I would say it's 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 quite unlucky, um, but we did follow that up with uh, a Benica Fobe goal to make sure that we did go on to win the game anyway. So even though it was Paul Burton pulled it back to two one, they didn't really come out in the second half um, with anything to try and make it two two. Um, in effect, it was it was. It was more of us trying to make it 3-1 than them trying to make it 2-2. So after they pulled the goal back, it was half-time. And then in the second half, in the second half, Benny Kofobe getting another goal. Four goals in three games for him. Uh, since he scored that goal against Leeds, that's just, that's just given him so, so much confidence. Uh, and now, now he scored four goals in three games. So um, absolutely brilliant form from Benny Kofobe. Um, and if he continues this form until the end of the season, who knows? Maybe we could look at him in the summer um, if we do get promoted to the Premier League, which is looking very likely right now. Since uh, we are 13 points ahead of Fulham in third, they dropped points uh, today in the early kickoff. Um, uh, they drew two all with QPR, uh, and um, it helped that Aston Villa also lost. Um, to Bolton as well um, uh, in the late kickoff uh, that also helps as well because they were on well they're still 13 they're, they're still 13 points they were still 13 points behind us uh, before they'd even kicked the ball obviously because we played earlier uh, but it just helps that teams below us uh, we have uh, um, uh, quite a considerable uh, uh, advantage on them now. 
Uh, except Cardiff, of course. Although the gap is still six points. Uh, we took advantage of that, obviously, with the, the win today. Uh, Cardiff yet to play to, uh, tomorrow. Hopefully Derby can do us a favour tomorrow um, by beating Cardiff and the gap will remain six points. Because the, the gap uh, has remained three points now for uh, for a few weeks and it's nice to to extend uh, the, the lead uh, by double. Um, it's nice to double the lead uh, to six points as uh, we've I guess we've been uh, on a knife edge, as Cardiff have been keeping us on our toes. Um, we've been on a knife edge with uh, uh, only three points in front of them, but now we're, we're six points in front of them. And if Derby does a favour tomorrow, then that's just a perfect weekend for us. Villa losing, Fulham dropping points, and Cardiff losing. That's just a perfect weekend for us. Uh, obviously, it would have been a perfect Tuesday, if um, Cardiff had lost as well, because obviously Villa lost 3-1 to QPR uh, on Tuesday. We won 3-0 at home to Reading. Brentford won, went 1-0 one, one in front against Cardiff. Maybe thought they might lose as well, but no. Um, uh, they, they went on to turn that round and win 3-1 uh, at Griffin Park on Tuesday, so it couldn't be the perfect Tuesday. But it could be the perfect weekend if Cardiff lose to Derby tomorrow. So just fingers crossed that Derby uh, do us a favour and beat Cardiff tomorrow. That's all we can uh, hope for now because we've done our bit. Uh, we just have to um, rely on the result tomorrow. I'll see you uh, in a couple of days, hopefully, with uh, another video. Until then, goodbye, guys!